I'm going to show you a really, really interesting way of making an infographic or graph or whatever you want to call it in this video. But the difference is it's going to be branded. That's really, really important for a couple of reasons. We're actually going to be creating a pillar page in this video. So for pillar pages for Maven Success, which is one of our clients, um, basically they do freelancing. They, they vet freelancers uh, from the Philippines and Egypt. And um, I'm creating their pillar posts, which are these right here. So I'm currently on bookkeepers and accountants. And basically the average idea is that you can save a lot of money by hiring one of these people, but they've also been vetted, okay? So first of all, I have my custom instructions. The custom instructions are, you know, um, specific for every single business. I'll leave a copy of these specific custom instructions, but I do make, I'm making a big spreadsheet of custom instructions either for blog posts or pillar pages, depending on what it is. You can have a look what this looks like right here. Um, and basically, if I want to, if I need to write an article about Maven success, then I use these custom instructions. If I need to write one about, you know, one of the other people, then I use their custom instructions. This video is not about custom instructions, but if you're curious how I do this, I take one custom instruction or two custom instructions. And what I do is I say to ChatGPT, can you use Bing to learn about chat GPT custom instructions. And what it does is it reads what custom instructions are uh, and that there's two of them. Um, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go into detail with this right now. Um, but basically it needs to know that there are two sections and that's how that works. Anyway, once you have your custom instructions, what we're going to do is we're going to say, can you create me a pillar post about and then bookkeepers and accountants, average hourly rates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what I'm just going to quickly do is I'm going to get the title from one of my, from one of the other ones, because I do like the titles that it's using right here. So we'll just scroll up. This is a good way to get uh, continuity between different chats. It's just copying and pasting. So we're going to say this is the title, but this is for bookkeepers and accountants. So we'll change this book bookkeepers and accountants. And then we're just going to copy this again. Um, write this uh, pillar page and make it about bookkeepers and accountants. Perfect. Uh, so you can see it is currently doing this, but I've just realized I'm on the wrong setting. So we're just gonna have to go out of this and go on advanced data analysis. Now you do need chat GPT four for this. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to keep all of the titles pretty much the same. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm kind of focusing on. So they're all pillar posts. They're all kind of in the same bit. So they do kind of need the same title. Anyway, this isn't the important part. So I'll be back once this has written. Okay, honestly, I got bored of waiting. It's so slow. ChatGPT4 is so slow. Once it gets to the end of here, then you just say continue and then writes the next part and then you have a full pillar post. However, this is where it gets interesting. First of all, you need the company's colors. So you can just get one of the uh, uh, page color pickers, uh, the plugins. I don't know what this one's called. It's called Colorzilla. So it copies it directly to clipboard. So we'll just control V that. And then we'll do the same thing. So we'll grab this and we'll take the logo color like that. And that's been copied to clipboard as well. And then what we need is um, also, also they use white and then we will get the font. Uh, so Rubert is the font. They use Rubert font. And then what we need to do is we need to save image as this is their logo and we need to add the image to chat GPT like this. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to say, uh, Maven success has, uh, users these three colors. Can you create a, um, bar chart talking uh, summarizing the cost saving from the pillar post uh, on bookkeepers and accountants. Okay, so, and then another thing, I just want to point this out. This is something that you 
can do. So we'll put this here. If you want uh, consistency, okay? So consistency is super, super important. So you can see this is kind of the result that I'm getting. Um, if I scroll down a bit, you can see this is perfect. So what you can actually do is you can click here. Once you've got a look that you like, if you want consistency, then you can copy this and put it here. Okay, now I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna press enter here um, and we'll just see what comes up. But basically this should give me a branded infographic, just like the one that you can see right here. Now, like I said, you can use this for consistency. So once you get a good look that you like, then you can copy this and you can say, can you just change this to reflect uh, the information from this blog post instead, or whatever it might be. But yeah, we'll just see what it comes up with right now. So I'm going to be really honest with you right now, and a lot of people don't show this kind of stuff on YouTube. It does take a little bit of playing around with, okay? So it's not going to be perfect first time. You can see that right here. Um, it gave me one that was like, it was all messed up here, etc., etc. You just got to play around with it. But like I said, once you get something that you like, then you have a permanent template for that client, okay? And the way that you do that is you just copy and paste that. And this is the kind of result that I am trying to show you that you can get. So we'll just open this up. Uh, I don't think I can even open this with, with my computer thinking about it. Let's uh, just go back and copy this. So the good thing about these SVGs is that they can just be copied um, pretty easily. So you can just right click copy and then uh, control V or just right click paste. And yeah, this is the kind of thing that I'm trying to show you that you can make. This is beautiful. This is the kind of thing that you will see on Google all the time. It will rank very, very well on Google. You can see this is kind of getting there as well. But again, I would just change a couple of things here. So I'm actually going to show you that you can copy this. So I'm going to say, look, this was great, but just use this template I already um, made earlier. Okay, so this should just take the template, but just change everything inside to make it um, for the uh, bookkeepers and accountants instead of social media managers. Okay, so as you can see, this hasn't given me exactly the same, but this is super, super nice, and I really, really like this branding right here. And it is good to have different graphs. Like, I can't just use the same graph over and over and over. But you can see the branding and, like, the, the kind of layout and everything has improved massively now that I copied and pasted something that I'd already done. I could say um, make it the same as this. So I could say... Uh, do do annual cost per year um, in-house and average uh, annual cost per year with Maven. Maven, like that. And then that'll do the exact same thing, but it will just come out to look like uh, all the other graphs that I've already done. Okay, so that is actually it. This is a perfect bar chart for me. Um, personally, I love it. Uh, this is the reason there are two is because there's two jobs here. There's bookkeeper and accountant, which are slightly different things. And you can see it really, really shows the cost comparison. Like it's so much uh, more affordable to hire someone from another country. And it is how a lot of people do their businesses. But yeah, that's it, guys. I really wanted to show people this. You can find the... Oh, refer a friend. Hello. <laughs> I, just, I just saw that right now. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll leave my custom instructions in the description as usual. Feel free to check them out. And that is how I am currently making pillar posts thank or pillar pages. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.